Mayor Sadal, he is the newest candidate to challenge his boss, George Gascon, in next year's L.A. County District Attorney's race. He served as vice president of the Los Angeles Association of Deputy District Attorneys for over a decade. Eric is here now in studio. Congratulations on the run. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank Thank you so see. much. For a lot of people, this is probably the first time they're getting to know your story. Can you tell us a little bit about who are you and okay. why are you doing this? Well, I'm a native Angelino. I was born here, I was raised here, and I very much love our city. Um, I think LA is one of the things that makes Los Angeles unique is that we are a world-class city because of our diversity. Uh, my mom immigrated here from Argentina. She mm -hmm. barely spoke English when she came here. In fact, my grandfather, when he moved here and then he eventually died, I don't even think he spoke any English. Mm. I think that's something that's really remarkable about Los Angeles is uh, we are a diverse place, and that's what makes us unique. And one of the reasons why I'm concerned about what's happening within our community is I feel like our public spaces are no longer safe. Mm. And I'm running for DA because I want to make sure that our public spaces, the place where our diversity is most heightened, are safe for all people. And I want to make sure that people feel that they can walk through the streets of Los Angeles without being harassed by homeless, um, and I want to make sure that our criminal justice system treats the, ho uh, the homeless in a humane fashion, does not criminalize them, but gives them a path uh, of leaving that, uh, that uh, scenario. And that's what I think we can do as, uh, as the DA of L.A. County. Now, one of the issues that leads us directly to that you're passionate about is organized crime. And we just heard from Laura Diaz out there with that poor business owner in Pasadena right. with the latest smash and grab. You say, though, there's a lot of people who blame uh, Proposition 47, that it's Prop 47's fault while this is why we're seeing this increase in smash and grabs. But you say that's not, that's not the case. Why not? No, so I think Pro, uh, Prop 47 had other problems, uh, especially when it came to petty theft. It really impacted that. It actually did show an increase in those types of, uh, those types of crimes. But the smash and grab is a different phenomenon. It's much more organized. These are felonies, they are uh, conspiracies, and you can charge them as such. I think what the problem with the smash and grabs is that we right now have a prosecutor's office that has a policy of catch and release. In other words, people get caught and they're released. We also have a backlog of 13,000 unfiled felony cases. And just to give some perspective, that's about one month of crime in Los Angeles, that we have a backlog. So people are not facing the consequences, people are not being held accountable, and they are also not being held in custody so that they can re uh, commit these smash and grabs. So your DA, what changes day one? Day one is we, we no longer release people, that we actually have a policy where people are held accountable, they are put in custody, and they will not be released immediately. That's what we need to move towards. And, and l l let's talk about, because you're not the only one who's saying that, of course. You're one of several deputy DAs that are running. Uh, you all clearly don't like your boss that much, George Gascon, who's also right. running. Yeah. Um, uh, and we've t introduced uh, you to also John Hatami and John McKinney on, on this show as well, um, and, and in addition to Nathan Hawkman. What makes you different? Why you over all of your colleagues? W what's different about you? Well, I think I come from a new generation of prosecutors. Um, you know. Our generation of prosecutors are not interested in making sure that people get the maximum penalty according to the law. I think we're trying to thread that needle of balancing, making sure that people are not recidivists. In other words, do not return to the criminal justice system. We want to make sure that people who are, uh, we don't want the repeat customers, mm -hmm. right? But we also want to make sure that we have a violence reduction strategy, which means that you hold certain people accountable. Um, most people don't know that most crime, like 70% of crime, uh, especially violent crime, are committed by uh, just a few individuals. In other words, a few, uh, not that many. There's a f very small percentage of criminals that drive uh, violent crime. And so what I want to do is I want to start focusing on those drivers of crime rather than just have the Gatling gun approach, which the DA's office has traditionally done in terms of reducing crime. 
Okay, well, there, you've, you've just met him, the newest candidate for L.A. <laughs> County District Attorney, Eric Sadal. We appreciate you taking the Thank time you. to come into the studio and introducing yourself. Thank you, I appreciate it. Best of luck in your campaign. We featured you. many of the other candidates yep. as well, and we, we hope to talk more uh, in the months ahead as we get ready for that March 2024 primary election.